Then we go to accessibility, which is uh, the result of integration of transportation and function. Accessibility is the ability to access the key functions by means of public transportation in a certain amount of time. It depends on distance and technology. The distance is clear, but why technology? Because technology influences accessibility. The distance between Roma and Milano was always the same since the beginning of the time. But now, thanks to the new technology, faster trains and airplanes, it's more accessible rather than, let's say, 100 years ago. So different modes of transportation influence the accessibility, different technologies of transportation. For evaluating the, for evaluating the accessibility, we borrowed some concepts from Todd methodology, transit-oriented uh, development. Based on Todd, the convenient distance from bus and tram station is five, five minutes, uh, and the convenient uh, distance from met metro station corresponds to 10 minutes of walking. Uh, it means that you use a bus or tram station if it's five minutes from you. Similarly, you use uh, some metro station if it's located 10 minutes from you. And this means that all of these uh, modes of transportation has had a, have, uh, have uh, different catchment areas. For metro station, uh, this would be 800 meters. And uh, for bus and tram station, it would be 400 meters. So what we did was that we uh, put these catchment areas wherever we found uh, metro or tram stations, and we built, we created uh, a map of public, public transportation corridor. And then we overlaid this map with the map of distribution of functions. Uh, on the edges of the transportation corridor, we cut the physical barriers of the buildings because it doesn't make sense that you can go through the buildings in order to reach public transportation. And again, you can see that in downtown of Rio, there is a core of accessibility, and also the, all, most, of the con, uh, most of the functions are concentrated there, while you have some black holes in favelas and also in the uh, port area. Then we go to effectiveness. Effectiveness is resulted from uh, superimposition of volume and transportation. And it can be defined by classic ratio between supply and demand in public transportation. In another word, number of trips in public transportation and over the total number of trips. For evaluating this, we again uh, create the map of public uh, public transportation corridor, but this time we did not cut the edges, and we overlaid it to the density map. It shows that if a certain node of transportation in its catchment area uh, has dense buildings, it is efficient or effective. Or if you put a uh, bus station or metro station in some dead void or lower density, it's not effective enough. And this is how we see. Then we go to measurement. All of these indicators are uh, <coughs> calculated with formulas. And we uh, gathered information and uh, calculated numbers for the sake of comparison with the transformer core project. Then we go to the second phase, which, which was the identifying the catalyst. We have a horizontal and vertical catalyst. And as I said before, the catalyst is the malfunctioning system, malfunctioning subsystem, and malfunctioning key category. Uh, based on our evaluation, the void layer was very weak, and interface in the key categories also was malfunctioning because there was a problem of uh, connect connectivity because th there were no proper connections between the network of words. There were no network of words. And uh, with this selection, we ordered the uh, design ordering principle of IMN. So 
uh, enhancing the interface came to the priority for the action and modification. So our first mission was to create a connected network of world and open spaces. Then we go to the modification, and it begins with the catalyst layer. <coughs> we came up with this concept of fingers of green fingers uh, in order to, with some green roots, uh, create the overall global uh, network of uh, green voids or generally voids with the whole real. And you can see that th there is a certain void in uh, real. Then with means of these fingers, we try to connect it globally. Uh, we introduced these roots, these uh, green roots. Uh, and all of these roots uh, has, have the uh, role of connectivity. And in their very local scale, they have different roles in order to integrate with their very local context. And based on the axial analysis, we could decide wherever, put, wherever to put, uh, for example, mixed use, wherever the accessibility allows us to uh, introduce new pedestrian and bike area. And you can see, based on the axial analysis, we introduced new network of uh, motorized free uh, traffic, pedestrian and uh, bike pathways. So uh, this is the sequence of transformation. We uh, analyze the potential voids. Then we set a hierarchy between them, the, the voids that could be green, the voids that could be used as the public spaces. And we uh, try to connect them with new routes. Then we put the street network in order to an analyze the overall accessibility and potential uh, streets that could help us to, to enhance the inter interface. Then we introduced some uh, elevated pathway in order to connect the favelas, which, uh, which were located in the not very convenient uh, topography. And we tried to connect them to the main axis of the project. For the prosody and for the deciding about the density, what was important for us was to be uh, faithful to the density that has been decided for the Porto Maravilla project. So at the first step, we distributed that density uniformly. And at the very first step, we uh, reached to the seventh floor for every block. But our mission was to enhance the interface. So we cut through the buildings in order to provide accessibility vertically. and. The, build, the, the buildings get higher. Then we also cut the building uh, horizontally. We parallel with the uh, seaside. And uh, we analyze the hierarchy of the streets based on the <coughs> accessibility to the public transportation. Then, with uh, having the public transportation map and concentration of public transportation map, we decided to not distribute the density uh, uniformly, and we try to concentrate more density where, wherever we have good accessibility to public transportation. So after all, the project came like this. The, the, what is important is that the uh, distribution of density is not uniform this time. Then in the last phase, we evaluated the transformant suggested uh, context uh, in order to see what have we done. Again, first, uh, it's the dismantling the system into the volume, voids, transportation, and functions. We can see more concentration of the function in the eastern part this time. <coughs> then we also made the vertical analysis, porosity, proximity, interface, you can see warmer colors now, and effectiveness. Then for evaluation, we compared the results with the actual situation. So this is volume before and after. We raised the volume by 30 percent, and it's, it's a very good enhancement. Void. 
And this is tremendous. We also increased the reward. That means that we did not sacrifice words in order to uh, provide the volume. Transportation, we did a very minor modification in transportation, but it tremendously uh, affects the effectiveness functions. Uh, this is actually the potential that after this project, uh, functional layer can have. More, it provides more functions, especially in the, in the uh, Western part. Interface, and this is huge, we increased 21% in overall accessibility of these trips. And effectiveness, you can see the changes. It's more red. And that was all. I kindly invite you to visit our website, imandesignlab.com, and you can follow us in Facebook and Twitter. And uh, thank you very much.